Hello, my name's Lily and I'm going to show you how to create an estimate for a customer and convert this to an invoice. So in order to create an estimate for a customer, from the home screen you can see that at the top there's these three buttons. Underneath the plus button, we then get the option under customers to create estimate. If we select this option, we're then presented with the estimate screen. So here's where we start entering the information. First thing we want to do is choose the customer. So you've either got the option to do the drop down or if you already know the customer you want to select, start typing in the name. So in this instance, we're gonna choose Lily. From when we set the customer up, you can also see that the email address and the billing address has already been pre-populated. However, if you need to overwrite them, you can. We can then put through an estimate date and also an expiration date. If you want QuickBooks to remind you that an an estimate has expired or that you need to follow up a client. You can also add a reference so you can easily track your estimate. Down the bottom we then get the option to add the estimate and explain what it's going to be in relation to. So under products and services we've got a little list of all the things that have already been added to QuickBooks. If there's another, a new product that you wanted to add or it was a one-off then you can go through the add new option. Alternatively you can pick from the list below. So in this case we're going to start doing one on training. So if we start to type train, you can see, again, QuickBooks will start to narrow down the options available to us. Following through from selecting training, we then get the, pre the preset description and also the quantity and the rate. Both of these can be overtyped. So in this instance, we're going to say that we did client training for three hours. So by selecting three in the quantity, the invoice then goes up to a subtotal amount of 150, which gives us an estimate of 180. Once we're happy that the estimate is complete and you've got all the information on there, you can either save or if you wanted to do save and send, you can then set it up to be sent directly to the client's email address. So if we hit save, the next step we can do to check that the estimate has been added is to go into the customer account. So within customer, and if we then find Lily, we should be able to see that the estimate is shown. This is where we can now change the estimate to an invoice once it's been accepted. So by to change the estimate, if we click on it, we're then given the estimate screen again. And in the top left hand corner, you can see that currently the status is set to pending. If we switch this to accepted, we can then add some additional information as to who it was accepted by and also the date that it was accepted. Once we put this information in, we then get the opportunity to create this estimate to an invoice. So to do this, what we need to do is to save our changes originally to show that it has now been accepted. And then within the top right hand corner,